Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use my space rocket, and we're actually going to try going to the moon, which it's definitely not made for. But, you know, we're going to try. So first things first, we're going to climb up this long, scary ladder if I can jump up. Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. And we got to go as fast as we can because we have an active emergency on the moon we're currently responding to. Okay, we're going to go in here and enter our cab and look at this, guys. Oh, don't push ourselves out. That was scary. All right, in here is all of our advanced computer systems. We're going to be closing this door. As you can see, I added the Neotastic logo go to the rocket oh yeah all right i'm going to show you guys actually how to take this thing off because that is very important so this is now on workshop if you want to go subscribe to it link is in the description i'm going to show you guys how to take this off so you're going to want this light right here on if you um, want to be able to see next button you're going to want to click is the systems button and that activates all of our cool advanced dctvs and some of our um, monitors that are kind of questionable anyways so this among us thing is actually pretty important and it tells us how far or how close we are to the moon and we're going to be using this today and see how accurate it is so um i think we're gonna start engines here so to actually um launch this thing off first thing you're gonna want to do is turn on main engines and then throttle up just a little bit but you don't want to do it too much because it literally will tip you over so if it does tip you over click the srb launch or here i'll show you what to do so you're gonna want to put the engine throttle up just a little bit oh that's really loud okay uh just a little bit so you actually have control of the rocket it's on um 26 percent now we're gonna do srb launch three two one clear for takeoff here we go and now we are taking off in the air and you can click a and d and stuff you have full control of the rocket so as you can see the rocket's starting to go off course i can hold a right now and then it'll go on course so you gotta face like the ladders so on you can't go on this side because then it'll be inverted so always like you know look at the ladder side and then that's how you know it will be correct anyways the weather's kind of bad out here real quick we're gonna put it to um fully daytime here oh gosh it's still really foggy it's really weird because like I, it's not foggy at all I don't know. Stormworks needs to also probably fix that. We're going to wait to see the moon here and see if we can even make it to the moon. That's going to be really interesting. We're going to throttle down a bit. Yeah, you don't want to have your throttle on too high. You don't want to waste all of your actual precious fuel until we're in outer space. That's definitely important. We only have these on so we can actually control the rocket in um, the normal world here. So we're just going to continue going up and can I see the moon? I don't think so. Okay, we're at the point right now where I can barely uh, see the earth and, I, and I'm not in outer space. Like I don't see anything down there i see a little bit of clouds i'm waiting to see the curvature of the earth and that'll start happening any second here i'm really waiting oh what's going on i see it kind of shifting around here uh i think we're fine but yeah our among us thing here is actually moving so when that moves that way that means we're going closer to the moon i just saw it move a pixel you guys saw that too so that means we are currently making progress okay i can kind of see the curvature already i don't know about you guys but i can kind of start seeing it uh i'm gonna say yep i definitely see the curvature oh this is so cool okay i I remember at the beginning of the space dlc that was like the coolest thing ever because i was totally not expecting a space in stormworks but here we are going to space in my own rocket and not just space this time i'm actually going to the moon so this is going to be pretty awesome oop we're starting to angle down i'm going to start pulling up i think we've actually lost uh, some of our controls here uh srbs will run out here momentarily we're going to wait for that to happen i'm going to face the way um the sun is so we can actually kind of see oh gosh it's spinning a little bit yep we have a clear view of the moon right now srbs will run out here in just a couple moments um we're waiting for that to happen we are clearly making progress srbs have ran out uh, we're gonna be going ahead and disconnecting srb so srb release there goes the srbs we're going to be activating full throttle here on the main engines. You can actually see the flame really lighting up this area. So um, this looks really weird. So I think in real life, the rockets like actually separates like um, how we have our ejection key here. That's probably how it actually is. I just really don't know how to get to that stage yet because the fuel is like really weird. You need a ton of fuel to get to space. So yeah, I don't even know if we're going to be able to make it to the moon, if I'm going to be honest. And with that being said, we probably should throttle down. I don't know how fast we're going. Um, we do see the moon in our CCTV though. This is just such a cool view in here. But I would say we're about a quarter of the way there. We've been going for quite a decent amount already. And I still have no idea what this monitor means. Can you guys let me know in the comments if you do know what that means? I just really can't understand it here. We're pointing directly at it. And it's still really just saying a bunch of random stuff. Like, I don't know what that means. And I can confirm right now, I would recommend staying in your seat. I actually just jumped out of it on accident. That was like so hard to get back in. Wait, is the moon moving? Uh, I 
always get confused on this part. It looks so weird. Because, like, if you look behind it, it literally is moving. Look at the stars. Just line it up with the stars. It's moving. I don't know. This part's really trippy. Um, okay, so we are around 30 to 40% there. But I am prepared. If we do ever have an emergency, we're going to use the stage button right here. And this is basically your emergency eject. Probably don't click that. Uh, unless there's an emergency. Anyways, I think we might actually use that to help us land on the moon. So we can use these RCS thrusters on the top here and using those should definitely help us a lot more because this main rocket right here is just way too like sensitive it like really launches us if we activate it anyways i'm really starting to see us start moving to the crater we land on so i thought uh in the beginning of the space dlc you could land anywhere on the moon definitely not you can't you have to land at one place that it basically brings you to so i thought if i wanted to i could just land like right there no it actually like there's a certain way it brings you it's so confusing like why can't i just land where i want on the moon i guess that that would be kind of hard to actually load in here oh i definitely need to add like some displays in here that tell us how much fuel we have left Ooh, i definitely need to do that um yeah because i don't know how much we might run out here any second now i don't know and if we did that would kind of suck but i feel like with the current momentum we would be fine velocity wait is that how fast we're going 1500 oop i think we're doing fine and we're just closing in on actually halfway there i i think that one star right there that probably means half that Among Us character really is about to move over there. And here we go. Look at all these stars pointing to where we're going. Oh, that is so awesome. So we're like 75% there. I'm going to be making the executive decision to be activating full throttle. All right, here we go. Hopefully this gets us here a little bit faster. I think that's the big crater right there that we're going to be landing in. Oh, that's exciting. And then that's Earth all the way back there that we just came from. That does not look like Earth. I don't know. I think they got their planets mixed up here. Anyways, uh, just 75% of uh, the weight on. And I've also noticed this monitor right here has changed a little bit. Um, I don't know why. It just looks way different. Like, there used to be a big green line or some type of line that was shooting across. Now it's like this circle. Is that the moon right there? Guys, I don't even know what that means. Uh, well, at least I think that's the crater we're going to. I'm really trying to angle it down here, even though I know there's, like, a direct path, and I really can't escape that path, so we're gonna see what happens. But we're not really lowering in altitude. What's our speed right now? Um, it's somewhere over here. Did I forget it? Oh, right here. So we're going 778 kilometers an hour so that is very fast i'm desperately trying to lower right now please i want to get that one right there and by the way we're doing all of this with infinite electric and fuel off so there's no reason that this thing should have issues uh wait a second you guys see that green dot on that monitor right there is that possibly us and then that's the moon Ooh, wait that might be a good um hypothesis here that might be us oh uh i hope that's not us actually you know i'm kind of concerned on why we just disappeared or uh, I, I think it was us that disappeared anyways um i kind of see us starting to lower in this crater here i mean it says we're very close i'd say we're at 90 percent, so we just gotta go a couple more kilometers wait what if i set a waypoint on the moon would it actually like work can i see it from here oh definitely not yet so it does appear we're actually starting to lower if you just line it up with the moon and the rocket itself i definitely see this big crater right here starting to all come together and we're gonna start entering the actual moons um does it have an atmosphere i don't know let's just say we're gonna attempt to land in the moon all right so it's gonna be interesting since this isn't a moon landing rocket but you know of course we have to test it and maybe if we do land on the moon we could name it a moon rocket you know you never know and i don't think that's gonna happen because you know i don't really see how this could even possibly land on the moon but we're definitely gonna see so make sure you stick around to find out hey guys look moon orbit 53 kilometers is that a wait we're in moon orbit okay so 52 kilometers 51 now until we're actually there is that accurate oh that is so awesome we're definitely gonna be able to tell if we land this thing or crash it so it should be at zero once we uh land it you know that's probably going to be our goal today to land it probably not crash you know i'm not i never do any of that stuff but in a couple moments here we should start uh seeing the high definition view of the moon so you guys know like i've already mentioned this before it'll all start to load in and look cool wait i wonder if that's how it looks in the monitor so you know how it looks like when we're in third person i wonder if it'd look the same in the monitor here i want to test that so once we start seeing all of like the re-entry phases or whatever we're gonna go in first person here and see if we can see it in the monitor that seems pretty cool to test and my waypoint actually did just appear 33 kilometers down there and oh 27 kilometers yeah i think this is actually really accurate well that's good knowing that we have a another useful piece of equipment in this thing so any second now we should start seeing and right there you guys see it and i can kind of see it on here but it's definitely more high definition in third person so yeah it kind of does transfer we are having some electrical issues i think 
but we are currently in the moon area. Are you guys ready for a landing? Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, we should probably start pulling up about now. Oh, this is kind of scary. Uh, I'm trying to pull up. Okay, don't crash this thing. We're going to unlock our emergency eject. Just, you know, possibilities, all right? Because I kind of feel like we're really starting to angle down here. Oh, guys, this is really scary. Okay, I think I've kind of regained control. The gravity here is really weird, so I got to be careful. Um, Where are we trying to land at? Okay, so there's a lot of bumps on the ground here. This is really not a good area to land. There would probably be a good spot, maybe. Uh, definitely not in one of those cave systems. Oh, yeah, mentioning cave systems, there actually is a ton of them under this map. So let me know if we should actually explore them in a video with like a rover. That sounds pretty fun. We might do that. I'm just kind of looking for a clear spot to land here. Will we be able to land this rocket on the moon? There is no way. And guys, if I'm going to be honest, should we try landing it with this, like the entire thing itself? I don't think that's possible. We're probably going to have to do an emergency ejection to even land. So how would that work? Because the momentum's probably going to be insane. So, you know, I think we're going to have to try really getting ourselves to a complete stop here. I'll see what I can do. So we're going to be doing a U-turn right now aggressively, then completely cutting the throttle. So now we have zero throttle. You know, we need to do a little bit of throttle here so we don't go that way. Oh, look at that. We're still moving and it should start slowing us down here ever so slightly. Please start doing that. Oh gosh. Okay. We just got to move the rocket in the way that we're currently moving and it should stop us since our engine ignition is on. Then once we go to a complete stop, so about now we shut it down and perfect. All right. Uh, that didn't go too bad. So now I think would be the perfect time to do the emergency ejection. Even though it's not an emergency, you know, we got to uh, land this thing. So um, for example, we're going to be hitting an emergency ejection right now. Here we go. And it does work. Thank gosh. And we are, we need to switch seats. I forgot about that part. Okay. We get to the co-pilot seat here. And now we have control with these RCS thrusters. I'm going to be holding the down button while facing up. So now we should start lowering. The part that no one tells you is that how hard this is to control. Like it is so hard to control. Okay. Please level it out. Okay. We got it leveled out and now just hold the down button and we should be fine. Nope. Oh gosh. Here, you know what? We'll do the exact opposite. I'll hold the up button while upside down or, oh gosh. I, okay. I don't even know what we're doing. Guys, we're currently having issues up here. Okay, I'm going to be countering it. And there we go. We countered it. Now we now we just got to angle ourselves down perfectly like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is so confusing. The controls are like kind of inverted. I don't even know what direction to look. There we go. I kind of got the hang of it now. So if I just look like this, I can go left and right. It's basically like flying the rocket again. So we don't want to do too much momentum. Uh, we do also have parachutes that we can launch out. Those will probably do absolutely nothing since we're in space. Oh, we're definitely lowering really quick here. Okay, maybe we should start flipping it around here and get ready to lightly land this thing oh we're going way too fast guys we're going way too fast okay we got to slow down this landing like right now slow it down slow it down oh this is going to be rough guys this is going to be very rough i'm sorry i did not mean it to end like this oh no i'm holding the up button don't go this fast please you've got to be joking me okay you know what a booster would be necessary right now we're definitely going a tad bit too fast and there goes our entire space rocket definitely not capable of landing on the moon this looks really scary in here because we've lost absolutely everything. Oh, I should have looked if we still had our controls in here. But yeah, we've lost everything in this thing. I think it's time to evacuate. Uh, player damage is off because, you know, I don't have HVAC in this thing. I still need to learn how to do that. As you can see, all of our air tanks are currently leaking all of the RCS things. So that is quite interesting. Uh, I would think it'd like throw you around if you stood on top of them like a fire hydrant in GTA. Exactly like that. But guys, that's probably going to be it for the building series of the space rocket. But of course, we might add some stuff in the future. Let me know in this video videos, comments, what I should add next on it. But guys, make sure you guys go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that bell, join the discord. Link is in the description, but thanks for watching and goodbye.